what we're basically going to do is we're going to add another section below here and we're going to just tab in here and then div id equals zuko element and then we're going to go class equals zuko element We have a style, this is inline styles. Um, we don't really need to create an external style, style sheet, so we, we're basically just doing it inline. It makes it easier. As, as this is an admin, admin section, we don't have to worry about it. So let's just go position related, and we add a width uh, of 600 pixels. And then we add a float. Uh, further left and then we just close close it off and close that one so just in this section we're going to add our functions so we make an open and close tag or for PHP and then we create our general settings function And that's it. So now we've got the section sorted. Let's have a look at what it looks like in the front end. Okay, so we just need to refresh our page to see what's going on here. Okay, so now you can basically see, basically see what's going on here. We've actually created the section. And it's still holding my old data that I've added in here. Um, so let's just clear this out. Um, so, the first thing you'll probably need to do is just test and see that these work, but obviously they're not going to work now because we don't have the sections to switch between. Um, so at the moment, only the general settings tab will work, and we'll get to the other ones just now. Um, let's just test and see if this works. Okay, so it actually does work. Let's do this one as well, and then we'll add uh, some words here. Google will be fine, and then we click save. Now, obviously, nothing's going to happen because we've uh, we haven't written the the code to save these options yet. So let's just go back and uh, write those options quickly. Okay, so let's get started. We need to basically create a function which will run a jQuery uh, Ajax effect and save our data. But uh, the first thing we're going to do is also write our PHP code to handle the saving options. So that's the first part we need to do of the, of the two sections. So it's the Ajax part and the PHP part. But because um, we say we're doing this in PHP, we'll do the PHP section first. Okay, so the function uh, for the PHP section will be function uh, zkr underscore general options also a general settings settings and then underscore save okay and then uh, function we're going to leave this empty for now as I want to move over to the JavaScript section so just above this one we will create another function called JavaScript in it so we'll go function. Uh, so we'll go function zkr underscore js in it, and then we'll do a closing tag and another open tag again. Okay, so basically we're going to write script, so this creates a javascript uh, tag and then uh, inside this tag we're going to start with a jQuery uh, dot ready function. So with, with the sublime editor it's quite nice, I can just go 
uh, ready to create my document on ready function and uh, as you see it already adds the the code for me uh, sublime editor is very cool it just makes my life so much easier and quicker when writing code so yeah let's go on and uh, 